Right, hello everyone. So today is the 9th of June, Thursday, and let's take a look at what happened yesterday with our Astro Hours. Now remember, we're matching price with technical analysis and we're matching price from technical analysis with astrology, Astro Hours. So this is what the Astro Hours are for. Astro Hours means this is when we're expecting the market to turn if it comes to one of our designated prices. So let's see, 842, 944. Now this is a 15-minute chart. Let's start with gold as usual. This is what 838.42 is here. So nothing really there. We're in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Remember the lines we drew yesterday here, here. So if the market comes down here at an astrological hour, we want to go long. If it gets up into where are we? This zone. You can tighten this up a little bit. Okay. And we'll expand that as well. Take it oops, around there. <clears throat> so want to trade at the lows or at the highs if we're going to buy and sell all right uh, and also the daily pivot weekly pivot the white line of things that we're you know looking out out for because the, those are levels we can also trade right so 842 944 842 944 we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere here 944 is also here in the middle of nowhere what else do i have 1255 What's that? 11.45. What's that? That's one o'clock. So that's okay. So 12.55, one o'clock at the weekly pivot. Okay. This zone. This is okay to sell if you're there. Why? Because we've come to a weekly pivot. Okay. From the lows up there in order to go down. So the market goes down. Not a lot. Four bucks. Your stop loss should have been just above the white line there. Okay. And then market comes back up here. And sells again. What time is that? 2.45. And I've got 2.51 here. You can see. 2.45. 2.51. 3 o'clock. Market comes here. Touches the white line as well. Goes down. Now this is a bit better. It's about 8 bucks from there. But even if you're sold on the weekly pivot. Coming down. Now look what happens here. The market comes down to our level. Right? Pretty much on the dot there. So these levels are where we're expecting stuff. And then the market comes down and then just goes up. At what hour does it do that? This is 3.15. Okay. So that's pretty sharp, huh? That's 3 o'clock. So, and that is a 3.15 bar to 3.30. So selling here, market comes straight down. And that's it. Now, what could have been done here? If you sold here, the market popped down here. A bit difficult to decide, isn't it? What you would have maybe done is move your stop forward and anticipate the market will go down or take profit and get out. Or you might think to yourself, well, I'll go long, right? Why? Because this is one of the levels that we're expecting support at. It's a bit tricky, as you can see. Volatile, once again, just before New York opens up. What happens here is... 3.30. I don't have anything at 3.30. So until 4.57. 4.57. That's your 4.57 zone there. All right. 4.45 bar. This is a 15-minute chart. So 5 p.m. Market comes back into the weekly and goes long. This is something you could have done simply because if you know technical analysis, well, if you learn from us, breaking above the weekly, coming back for a retest, at an astrological hour, go with it. Right, beautiful up move there until 6.30. Do I have a 6.30? I don't have a 6.30. That's it. And that's where the market turned around. And then it came back until 11.30. And I had 10.51 there. So that would have been what? 11. 10.51 is there. Right, coming back into the weekly pivot there so as you can see it's a bit tricky it was a bit tricky yesterday but on the weekly pivots sellable and enough to cover your trade if you're following your trade and then you can see you can get back into the trade here why because we're looking for a pullback into our astrological hours today i'm actually going to do a video on how to use astro hours Again, I'm, I did a video on this before, but I'm going to do another one today. Let's take a look at the euro dollar. Let's see how that panned out. So this is yesterday. 
what's that this is 12 o'clock right so as you can see 12 o'clock this is also a 15 minute chart and in between here we don't have anything because we're in the middle of nowhere here today's daily pivot is up there and let's see if there was anything well maybe no you would not have taken this one because you're in the middle of nowhere the only time you would have traded this is only up at these levels where we said there was a pst level okay and if you take a look at that let's see where that is that's 445 you can see that's 457 there all right 457 to 504 and that's pretty much the high of the day and that's a pst level and that's the level we marked on the technical analysis so the market just goes up we didn't have a 12 odd all right that's 12 o'clock we had 12.55, but 12.55 is pretty much there. Okay, 12.55 is there. And then we've got 2.51 to 3.08. 2.51 to 3.08. And that's, again, look, that top level there. So the market gets there, shoots down about 20 points, 25 points, goes up again at, the, at another astrological hour, as you can see and then goes all the way back to the weekly pivot, another 30 points there. All right, so as you can see, astrological hours are giving us good turning points if you match it to your pricing. If you don't match it to your pricing, you're just gonna get, you know, a bit, you're gonna get just, um, you, you're gonna get yourself into trouble. You always have to match time and price together. Okay, so that's the important thing here. If you're working just on technical analysis and price, you'll be stuck in front of the computer forever because you're never going to know when the action is going to happen. Uh, if you use astrology, you know when the action is going to happen. So matching it to the price just becomes logical because you do your technical analysis during the day, in the morning, <clears throat> and then you've got the astro hours. And during those hours, if the, if the market comes to where you said, to a price level, that's where you trade. Okay, let's take a look at dollar. US, let's take a look at Dow Jones. Now, this is yesterday as well. Now, this level we marked in before technical analysis, just a straightforward supply zone market comes up. As you can see, it's broken the structure here. So, we've got a break of structure. This was a level we marked in, goes up, and the market sells. What time does it do that? That's nine o'clock, as you can see, right? 8.42, 9.44. Market comes up into there and just sells down into the weekly pivot. What's that? This is four o'clock, as you can see, okay? This is 3.08. So between four and 5.04. Okay, this is where the market opens. No, that's where it opens at five o'clock. Okay, this is where it opens at five o'clock. So this is a sell zone. Why? Because 4.57, five o'clock, that's where the market is. It's a sell zone. That's where we're selling. And then market comes down into nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, as you can see. And that's it. 10 to 10.51. And that's the 10 o'clock bar there, market stalls. Even though the market is very choppy, if you know the price and at that time the market gets there, you know what to do. And your stop losses are very tight because if you've made a mistake in your astrology, you can just get stopped out with a tight stop loss. Because if your astrology is correct, the market should stop there and turn, all right? The only exception to that rule is when there is a breakout and a breakout aspect we can usually tell. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin see also very, very dramatic yesterday. Okay, let's see what happened. Um, if you're in the elite group, I did say Monday was a swing day for Bitcoin. As you can see, Monday was the high of the week so far. Uh, and then it tumbled down. I also said um, for Bitcoin, if you're following the videos, you already know. Um, if it pulls down, we want to be going long as it comes down. So it came down to our PST level moved up from there and now we're in between levels there so at the end of the day if you're following the videos you get an idea of what's going on with everything so let's take a look at yesterday let's turn this into a 15 minute chart as well and 
let's do this while that's turning what i'm going to do is i'm going to make yesterday's technical analysis of video available to you guys okay there you go so that's the 15 minute chart let's do it so this is yesterday's bitcoin right from there to there so let's see what happened this is 635 obviously we don't have anything there that's 850 okay now in between levels we don't do anything all right so in if you wanted to trade bitcoin yesterday you would have traded it at the at these lines here or at the tops here okay and if you don't have anything you would not have done anything okay because you're not at the top you're not at the bottom you're in the middle of nowhere so when you're in the middle of nowhere you don't do anything despite that though as you can see this is again 850 a swing that comes down comes down so they're not a big deal at all actually this is why technical analysis is important listen this is 450 look at that 457 this is the 450 it makes a high there and then comes down so just following these little things can get you um you know into decent trades and even if the trade is you know not going anywhere you're still better off because you're entering at the right time allowing you to enter at the right price as well so even if the you know market is sour like this going sideways doing absolutely bugger all you're still safe and that's the beauty about astrological trading all right that's that for today have a good one and that's it